praises as a weapon of war. That's the word I want to speak on. Everybody say praises as a weapon of war. Our general topic is the weapons of our warfare. There are many weapons we use in fighting. The name of the Lord is a strong weapon. The word of God is a weapon. We have so many covenants that are weapons. We, we read this morning in my family prayer where we, there was a covenant of sort. God entered with David that the throne will never leave his domain, his tribe of Judah. So when the other tribe of Israel rose against Ab 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 Abijah, Jehoram could not stand against him with 800,000 soldiers. Abijah came with 400,000 soldiers. But he said, because the God, David entered the covenant of salt with God, there is no way that the Israelites could defeat the, Judah, the, the people of Judah. And so it were that he, before they knew it, those 800,000 people, they lost 500,000 to the truth that was smaller because he entered a covenant of salt. For, really, for us to have major deal on this, we need a seminar. Not this 30 minutes message. Are you hearing me? So there are so many other weapons. There was a day I told us here, I, I, I gave you water. I said, drink this water. That whoever drinks water cannot hurt you. Some of you, I don't know whether you believe it or not. But for those of us that believe, it's working for us. And it will work for you in the name of Jesus. God can, he uses all manner of weapons to fight. Key is a weapon. The keys of David. Is that in Mark, Matthew 16 verse 19. He said, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom. With this key, whatsoever you shall bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall lose on earth is lose in heaven. I will say, I have the key. So these things are working so powerfully when you know them, when you understand them. There are so many other weapons. I had a, 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 a seminar one time in the past where we studied those weapons and I was to write a book on it and I think I will still create time. But today we are looking at praises as weapons of warfare. The Lord told me, when I say God told me, that means I got a revelation of it. That we should intensify our worship and praises. And we dwell heavily in our midst. Are you hear what I'm saying? And so, those of us that are already used to this, like a dastic attitude towards praises, may God deliver us in Jesus' name. I used to be part of that because, so when I go to Crusade Ground, they are singing. I just say, they, they are just wasting time. They, they should finish and give me a microphone. Finish your singing. The, I thought that the singing was to, to enable people to come. The singing, why they come. Then when they now fully come, stop singing, then I carry microphone and deal with the devil. No, 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 that singing brought down the presence of God. That singing is part and parcel of what will make the miracles to happen. Particularly if those singing are singing with understanding. Everybody says sing with understanding. If you don't have understanding in your singing, you are just, you are just entertaining yourself. But when you sing with what? Understanding. Praises as weapons of warfare. There is praises a weapon, looking at scripture, to break out of every satanic limitation. Praises can get it done. Some church songs to enslave themselves to the devil. Do you know in the kingdom of Satan, they do a lot of praises? Huh? I used to, when I was up in the village, they would say, somebody is a witch. He said, I'm not a witch. You are a witch. I'm not a witch. It's okay. Then they bring one woman called Osunen, who knows how to catch witch. 
She will put something on the ground. Then all the people that said they are with her, they'll be singing. They will be dancing around one, uh, one, 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 one item they put on the ground. As they are dancing, dancing, dancing. Before you know it, he the person is a witch. He will catch the person. Why? But it's that singing that breaks down the devil to attack the person. Are you hearing me? They are singing to, to the devil to bring the devil down. Do you know many shrines they sing there? In, 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 a, in one of my villages close to my village called Ibilo, they have in the morning, they ring bell for women to come and worship the devil. They will come there, expose themselves, and begin to dance, begin to sing to the devil. Devil loves praises. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The same thing, man loves praises. God loves praises. If I start praise, all of you sitting here, you love to be praised. If I praise you now, you, you, you will be, you'll be heavy. Say yes. Say you are a very good person. This person is the best. This person is this. This person. Say yes. 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 But imagine if I begin to pull you down and just say terrible thing about you, you take offense. You can even walk out while I'm still talking. Except you see that's persecution. I say, well, it's part of those things. Praise God. For every praise, there are spirit behind it. You know, the devil was the angel in charge of praises. He was the archangel. Then he was called Lucifer. He was in charge of praises. So he still loves to be praised. When you praise God, it attracts the spirit of God. When you praise man, it attracts the spirit of man. When you praise the devil and his demons, it attracts the, pres the presence of those evil spirits. That is what you must know. And praises is there for that glorify God, or glorify the devil, or glorify man. All praises. Because we are all of these three things, they love praises. That's why when you hear a song, Ask yourself before you start responding. Who is this song praising? So that it interests me when I sit on these young, young ones. All these teenagers, these youths. Listening to failure material. You know what I call FM, huh? <laughs> That's what I call failure material. They listen to FM and they are hearing songs. They don't ask themselves. This song that being played on FM. Who are they glorifying? What is the spirit behind this song? I told you, it's either glorify God or glorify the devil or glorify man. So this one I'm hearing, who is he glorifying? The one you hear on your CD, MP3, DVD, television, WhatsApp, no matter what video you're watching, that song you are hearing, who is he glorifying? Who is he promoting? There are some songs that are meant to promote sexual promiscuity. Do you know that? Huh? Oh, baby, I love you. I'm your boyfriend. Quack, quack, quack. Boom, boom. There's one boy called Felix Liberty. In those days, he sings those kind of songs. Chris Okotie. They sing songs to, to glorify sexual appetite. And you still hear them. So many musicians in the world. They sing and they glorify the spirit of immorality. You can't be a, child, a righteous man of God or a child of God and be singing such songs. You see, you hear your children singing them and you, you, you don't rebuke them. You put them on their phone and they just go with it. Promoting the devil. Then how can they avoid living in sin? Every spirit, like, like I told you, want to be praised in songs. Even God, the Bible says in, Pro, in Proverbs 22 verse 3, I mean Psalm 22 verse 3, God inhabit the praises of his people. That was the end. Proverbs 20, I mean Psalm 22 verse 3. 
psalm. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. He inhabited. He dwells in him. So when you praise him, he dwells there. What about when you praise the devil? Who will dwell there? Huh? The devil. He dwells there. You can all be going on the road and you put on FM. I can hear it. Boom, 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 boom. Devil is dwelling there. Before you know, you are shaking your head. Some of us that we are not born again early, we listen to uh, uh, all manner of ungodly music. Even till now, though you are not born again, when you when the music is playing, you already know when you start shaking your head again. And you remember, if possible, you can even be singing along. You say, Pastor, pa, 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 Pastor. You, are you still singing? You say, I'm sorry. Hey, my head. You did crazy. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Train of a child in the way you go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. Because what you learn when you are very small, you will continue to follow you. Praise God. That is why praying and praises cause God to send angels to deal with your enemy. When you begin to praise as a weapon of war, in the book of Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles, I mean, chapter twenty, verse fifteen, there came a time when Jehoshaphat. Second Chronicles, chapter twenty, verse fifteen, not verse one. If we read from verse 1, we may get the whole story. But there came a time Jehoshaphat was besieged by several enemies who were physically stronger than him. And he, he didn't know what to do. He, but good thing indeed, like we did now, we know that the devil is stronger than us if we are not in Christ. Humanly speaking, he's so experienced. But in Christ, we are stronger than the devil. So we don't know what will be followed the next three months. We say, let's wait on God for seven days and see the face of the Lord. When Jehoshaphat saw that so many kings rose up against him and they were very powerful kings, he didn't know what to do in Second Chronicles chapter 20. What did he do? He, brought, he, he organized a fast. They fasted and prayed. And the end, God delivered them while they were busy singing, praising God, became their weapons. In 2 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 15, he said, Thus say the Lord unto you, Be not afraid, nor be dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but what? Yours. Hallelujah. Be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but who? God's. Throughout this quarter, the battle is not yours. All your battle, God has taken them over in the name of Jesus. I speak prophetically to you that every battle in your life, God has taken them over in the name of Jesus Christ. The battle is not yours. You will hear news from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. You will have reason to feel like running away. But then God is saying, don't run. The battle is not yours. The battle is mine. I will fight your battle for you. The Lord will fight your battle for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't need to fight in this battle. Hallelujah. When God delivers your enemy to your hands, it's always very very powerful all you need to do is to believe look at verse 20 verse 20 of that second chronicle chapter 20 he said towards the end so shall you be he said believe in the lord your god can you see where it started from so shall you be established believe his prophet so shall you do what prosper. Everybody, all you need to do is to believe. Everybody say, I believe. Say, I'm a believer. May God raise believer here in Jesus' name. They believe. They obey. He said, and they rose early in the morning and went for into the wilderness of Tekwan as they went for Jehoshaphat stood and said, hear, hear me, O Jacob. Where am I? Hear me, O Judah, I mean, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe in his prophets, 
so shall ye prosper. I am the prophet of God. Prophet means a messenger of God. Not somebody that answers prophet. Are you hearing me? I can answer prophet. Anybody can answer prophet. A prophet simply means a messenger of God. One who carries the message of God. And I just told you that the message of God for us said, says, if we begin to praise him, he will do wonders in our midst. Mikhail told this Jehoshaphat, God said all you need to praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. There's one hymn like that. Say, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. As we begin to praise him, we shall see wonders. We will be established. Believe in his prophet, so shall thou prosper. I see you prospering this quarter in Jesus' name. Because you are praising him in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at how the battle went from verse 21. From verse 21 to 23 now. He says, And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed what? Singers. Unto the Lord. We have appointed singers. Faith builder, raise up your hand. Hey. These are our singers. Praise God. He appointed singers. We have those singers as well. He appointed singers unto the Lord. And that should praise the beauty of holiness. Please, you have a big task to do now. If anybody has not been coming for practice, you have to intensify. Everybody must be committed. All of you go and learn how to praise God. We shall have some ushers who we hold cane. They see you not praising God. Say, if not, say you are a big man. I will fuck you. Or God try to praise God. <laughs> praise the Lord. And that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army. And to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy and endure forever. 22. And when they began to sing, can we all read verse 20, 22 together? And 23. One to go. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent a bushman against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mansiah, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. And for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mansiah, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy one another. Hallelujah! That is how your enemy will fight themselves in Jesus' name. Throughout this corner, as we begin to praise God, he said, while they were busy praising God, there were three set of armies. This group, Ammon faced the, the other group. When they finish fighting, killing themselves, then they face the other one faced the last one, and that was how they destroyed themselves. Meanwhile, yeah. the people they came to fight were busy singing. We shall, each time we come here to sing, devil will be destroyed themselves in Jesus' name. Agents, all your enemy will be fighting themselves in Jesus' name. Anytime you open your mouth to sing, whether in the church, whether in the office, whether at home, in your kitchen, as long as you are praising God, your enemy will be destroyed themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be confusion in the cup of the devil. I was asked to pray in the stadium the other day, some a year now or more. I said, God, what do I what what weapon do I use? He said, three weapons. It was everybody that asked me to list some songs, some prayer there. He said, use three weapons. Number one, the weapons of blindness. He said, he said, it's a spiritual weapon. Number two, the weapons of confusion in the cup of the devil. Number three, the weapons of a jelly visitation. And there are there are what the Bible calls angels on that fight angels of war they're in the camp of angel my angel michael i mean angel michael yes are you hearing me so when i was leading the prayer i said hey every i command blindness upon agents of the devil that will not repent in the name of jesus christ i command confusion in the camp of the devil and i command that father i ask because you can't command it it's only God that releases angels. Did you hear me? Angels are not under your control. They are under his control, but they are meant to minister to your needs. Are you understand what I'm saying? So each time you need to walk the attention of angels, who is their master? You go to God. Say, everybody say, Father, release your angels to fight my battle. 
Does that make sense to you? Don't say, hey, Jamaica, Mimo, come and fight my battle. No, we don't pray to angels. We don't worship angels. We don't pray to angels. Did you understand what I'm saying? But you can ask God to release them. He is in, the angels are under God. Am I making sense to somebody here? So you say, Father, release your angels to fight my battle. And you will release them. They will fight your battles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please take note of that. Father, release your angel. Let them fight this battle. And when they fight the battle, it's powerful. They kill themselves, destroy themselves. Because people were busy praising God. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I feel like kneeling down to beg you. Or rolling on the altar like Yoruba people. To beg you. Don't miss praise and worship before you enter any service. Let me hear your amen. amen. Don't be like what I used to be, thinking that it's just preliminary. It's just introduction. It's not important. It's just, you know, let's start the service somehow. As if they want to do wedding. They say, okay, the couple have not yet come. Let us all be singing. And so it's all that to come 10 o'clock. 10.30, they have not come. 11 o'clock, they are still decorating themselves like uh, 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 all those... I want to mention one name now. <laughs> By the time they come out, you say, ah, now you be this. Wasting our time on the, in the church. And then we are thinking that that singing we are singing is just for them to come in. No. That mentality must change in the name of Jesus Christ. We are coming to worship him. To praise him. To call, it's, an, it's a weapon to deal with the devil. From today, the weapon will be working for us in Jesus' name. So they help to destroy themselves. See, and when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set a bushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mansia. No one of the Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalm 7 and verse 11. God is angry with the wicked. When they come against you out of wickedness, the anger of God will come against them. They will begin to fight themselves. It has happened in this country. There was a time we took some prayers here. We heard that in Niger State, they started fighting themselves. They started killing themselves. Even recently, we heard that somewhere in the far north there, yeah, they, are, they are dragging. Who, is the, who will take over certain villages and all that. They were fighting themselves. That fight will never end in the name of Jesus Christ. They will keep fighting themselves while we are in church praising God. Hallelujah. There came a time they carried the fight into the church. We are told yesterday. Started bombing. Bombing, bombing places of worship. But we prayed. We started praising God. Before you know him, <laughs> That has disappeared. Everything that has a beginning has an end. Every demonic beginning will come to an end in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep praising God. Do you know God is alive? I say God is alive. Tell your neighbor, He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever is alive. Amen. Praise God. You know, sometimes we are pushed to be looking for weapons, physical weapons. If you read Psalm 125, verse 1 to 3, it said, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. Verse 2. As the mountains are run about Jerusalem, so the Lord is run about his people from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked, this is you now, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto what? Iniquity. That's why the rod of the wicked shall not come upon you. So that you will not put your hand unto what? Iniquity. He said, let the, the, let the righteous pull forth their hand to iniquity. Let the law of the wicked not come upon us. There is a way you'll be attacked. You wouldn't know when you carry, you lose, use all the money you have in this world to buy AK-47. 
and you go to where all these angels of them, you begin to do like this. Say, if I die, let me die. Are you hearing me? But God will not allow you to get to that level. Because I will be putting your hand into iniquity. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Just your praises are enough. Are you hearing me? Just singing, praising God. They are enough. Sing, your, sing yes. You hear quack, quack, quack. Say, Father, we are grateful. <laughs> oh, Lord. Say, ah, grateful. Okay. They're about to kill you. Say, you are grateful. <laughs> Before you know it, angel will chase them away from that place. Hallelujah. One man of God in Keduna was sitting in his office. Somebody just came and carried God at him like this. Say, bring everything you have. Oh, yeah, right now, right now, right now. Before you know it, as he was shivering, he saw the person that was holy gone fell down. The gun threw away from his hand. He said, like so what happened? He said he saw, as he pointed the gun at him, he saw one big plank came and pushed him down. That's why he threw away the gun and was collapsing somewhere. He said, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so he took it. He ran away. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? This God will fight your battles. I say he will fight your battles. In the name of Jesus Christ. When you think all is gone, you say, no, it's not gone. All is not gone. The Archbishop of Anglican Church in Joseph, Benjamin Frank, Papa Kwashi, same thing happened to him. They came to his arm and said, say your last, oh yeah, you, you are finished. We are killing you now. Do anything you want to do. He said, he said, can you just allow me to pray a little? He said, yes, pray. He knelt down. Father, is this the end? Whichever way. By the time he closed his eye, by the time he opened his eye, he didn't see them again. All of them have disappeared. He's a living witness. Are you hear what I'm saying? God can fight your battle. Fear no foe. Fear no foe. So we just hear one small news. They are doing it. Like you, you say at home, oh, no. He's well able. He's well able to deliver you and to set the captives free. Even if you already heard in captivity, he will still set you free. Just learn to praise him. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. You remember the story of Paul and Silas? In Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. And at midnight. At what time? At what time? Midnight. Everyone say midnight. I had a revelation earlier on, or I gave you a word of knowledge that there are 21 people that their story will change if they can pray at midnight today. At midnight. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises. Everybody said they sang praises. They didn't just pray alone. They sang what? Praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. They were not singing that nobody will hear. They were not singing oh, shh, shh, shh. let them know. They were singing praises, singing aloud. That every prisoner heard them singing. And what happened? The prisoner heard them. Verse 26. And suddenly, as they were praising God, there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaking. And immediately, all the doors were opened. And everyone's bands we are loosed. All the doors were open. It doesn't matter the kind of kid they use. Everything scatter. Earthquake happened. Praise, your praising God brought earthquake. The next time you praise God, earthquake will destroy your enemies in Jesus' name. They can't stand it. They woke up at midnight. Started praying and praising God. And earthquake took place. All the doors opened. It was wonderful. Hallelujah. I'll say hallelujah. So when you are in trouble, pray. Begin to praise, praise it. Sing praises unto God. You will see how God will deliver you from the prison of the devil. I know some of us, we are very gentle. We don't have time to be singing. You know, let's all the people just sing. They invited one, one girl to our church one day and people were singing, dancing, celebrating, jumping. She just stood like a tree. Or just looking like this. Ha, you know they dance. These are people who, if they, if they are not born again, they will go to club, club houses 
and be dancing naked and be smoking their hair and they be filling them with drugs and destroy their lives destroy their future scatter their lives but you come to church you, you stand like history if you can't you don't know how to dance just do nyanga dance just be doing like this small small <laughs> hallelujah praise him you know when they were singing a song today uh, i think yeah uh, uh Tokyo was singing leading us a beautiful song this uh, this morning and then he reminded me of one of my my is it my ne 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 niece who is your niece my brother's son is my niece have you uh -huh. my brother's daughter yeah my brother's daughter is my niece uh -huh. let's let me learn english i was driving from abuja to joe's and i stopped in in kefi to meet to see my brother and then he told me a very horrible story how the daughter was about four years five years just became crippled nothing they didn't do they took him in fact the, the wife took her one native man that dressed wood or some that touched do those kind of thing in the night the man wants to sleep with the lady he said ah, you mean as i come here with tears in my eyes that my first daughter is under this this is what you want to do so that night he carried the girl and left the, the humbleest house and found a way back and told the husband this is what happened so they were in that confused state when i drove in they told me the whole story i said well jesus can heal her and i just came from a program where a lot of miracles happen i lay hands in that girl i say in the name of jesus i command you to come back to get your healing no prayer I didn't pray in the name of jesus i believe when i open my eye she will begin to walk i open my eye she was still sitting on the ground. I said, stand up i carry her out ah. pay me <laughs> It didn't pay me. She still fell down. I said, okay. Uh, Jesus we, has healed her. It will come to pass someday. In Jesus' name. I used both face. Every time I went to <laughs> and drove away. <laughs> but you know, after that prayer, that same day, I left in the morning. I, 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 around 9 o'clock, the girl stood up. I mean, the girl sat down there and started singing. Small girl, the song she learned in the church. Set a door for for God, Masha, Masha. Set a door for for God, Masha. She kept singing that song, keep singing that song. They say, Come and eat. He said, Set a door for for God. One hour, two hours, three hours. She just kept singing that song. They say, We don't do now. He said, No. Set a door for for God. They say, Which country be this? She was singing as if something has taken her over. Before you know it, to the glory of God. She's still alive. She can come and testify here. I told you she's my niece. She's married now. Are you hearing me? Around 4 o'clock, after about 7 hours of shouting, said Adolfo forgot her. She stood up by herself and started walking. <laughs> Up to today, Victoria is still walking. Satan fell for God. Hallelujah! Praise as a weapon of war. Well, as a weapon of war. It's a major weapon. She sang. Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. They pray. They pray. They sang. They sang. And oh. Nico Preta, Paul and Silas. Hey! In Jesus' name. Give me 10 minutes to round up. Give me 10 minutes to round up this session. Then we conclude the prayer. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. That was how that girl came back to normal, normal sin. In Matthew 21, if you read verse 8 and downward, even down to almost the end, 
you see something happen. I wish I have time to read all of these uh, in 10 minutes. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. All that cut down branches from the trees and straightway threw them in the way. And the multitude that went before and that followed Christ, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. This book we are praising God as Jesus was entering into that glorious place. Are you hearing me? And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? Everybody say praise and worship. Jesus was part of this praise and worship. Somebody was saying, some people say, where did Jesus do praise and worship? This is one of them. They were praising God, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh, singing joyfully, sing. People say, let that keep quiet. He said, even if this one keep quiet, stone will stand up and start praising him. Hope you know you, you read that in that place. Yeah, it's praise. Jesus loved praise and worship. They praised, he sat on the, found the cone, I was just going, and they were praising, praising. I said, God, make me that coat you sat upon. All that can be seen. Well, come and sit on me. Sit on me. Father, sit on me. Everybody say, Father, sit on him. Amen. You pray for me now. I want you to sit on me. So you don't see me, you'll be seeing him. Are you hearing me? When you are coming, everybody going to that court. They don't say, I'm going to see the animal. They see the person sitting on the animal. May Jesus sit on you and sit on me in Jesus' name. So, that was how they were praising, praising. By the time he got to the temple, the praise was so heavy that immediately he entered the temple and they were selling nonsense. He chased away what they were selling. He started doing miracles. After praise and worship, miracles started happening. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's the praising, miracles started happening. They went into the temple. Hope you know that is why you are the temple of God. 1 Corinthians 6, this is verse 19, or 2 Corinthians 6, verse 19. It says, we are the temple of God. When praises are in your temple, miracles will be happening to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Symbolically, we are the temple of God. When Moses dedicated the temple, the power of God came heavily. That minister could not start to minister. The glory of God filled the place. As they were singing, he said they were singing with all manners of music. All manners of music. If you read uh, uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 6 towards the end, down to the first part of chapter 7. They were singing with cymbal, with psaltery, with everything. Singing. And the power of God, the glory of God came down upon the place. The power of God came down upon the place. The minister could not start to minister. So strong was the unction of heaven. All because they were praising God. Are you hearing me? Now if praises are in you, that is how God will glorify himself in your life. Be baptized with God's praises in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you go, please don't allow anger and bitterness be in you. You're supposed to be a citadel of praise. Are you hearing me? Supposed to be a home of praise and worship. You as the temple of God. Say, I am the temple of God. Say, I'm a citadel of praise and worship. That's why anywhere you go, be praising him. Eat deep in your heart. Then you can understand Philippians 4 verse 4. Say rejoice and I say again, rejoice. Let joy fill your heart. Praises fill your heart. Miracles will follow you. When you are full of praise, you don't worry. Worriness will disappear. You stop troubling yourself. Somebody said it takes 12, 72 naps to, to be angry. And only 12, 10, 12 or 12 naps to be smiling. If you see anybody is always angry, they grow older than their age. Every time you squeeze your face, seventy-two nerves are suffering. You don't know that. Each time you are angry, seventy-two nerves are, are suffering. But if you are rejoicing, only twelve nerves are responding. Tell somebody close to you, smile at me. Come on, look at somebody. Uh -uh. Look at these people. You hold face like uh, as if you are in the toilet. You are, oh, 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 oh. are you a lion? That's all those animals are very ugly. All those animals that can you see a dog? Hey, May God deliver us from that. I want a smiley church. May God raise this church as a smiley church. Tell your neighbor, be smiley, Jare. 
Jam your heart together for Jesus. Let's celebrate God. Well, praises is a weapon of war. It's a weapon of warfare. Of our warfare. Please take note of that. I can't read all of that because we need to round up now. That is what always sing in your temple. Are you hearing me? Psalm 55 and 17 says, Evening and morning and at noon will I pray. Psalm 55 and 17. I cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. How many times will he pray? Three times. Evening. Everybody say evening. Morning. Afternoon. I will pray. I will cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. That is prayer. But when it comes to praise, look at Psalm 119, verse 164. Psalm 119, verse 164. He said, how many times? Come on, read it for me. Let me hear you. Several times a day do I praise thee because of the righteous judgment. How many times do you praise God? Several times in a day. Prayer. Times. Psalm 55, verse 17. Praises. How many times? Several times. That is perfection. Several times of perfection. There are some, they don't pray even once a day. Bible recommend at least three times hour of prayer. Apart from pray without season. You must create at least three times. You pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the evening. Then, as you are going on the road, you just be praying. Like I taught us, it's one of the days. If I'm traveling to Abuja and I don't know what is on the road, I speak in tongue. I say, I don't know whether all those wicked people are on the way. While I'm thinking, he came on the way, I will say, This tongue takes care of anything on the way because it's called speaking in tongues and it's called unknown tongue. Unknown tongue takes care of unknown things. Did you hear what I said? Unknown tongues takes care of unknown things. What I don't know, tongue will take care of it. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, when we finish, wait here. We get you baptized in the Holy Ghost, you speak in tongues. If you are going home now, they say, some people, uh, some man I just did one. Oh, they are not for me. Well, I don't know where they are, but this one will take care of them. As you are going, they are going. Are you hearing me? So, you, that is pray without ceasing. Then you have time, you pray. Maybe before you come to work, you pray. While you're at work, you create 20, 10 minutes, 20 minutes somewhere. Let me just have my afternoon lunch. That was the afternoon lunch. I want to have my lunch. I didn't, I, no, it's already lunch. You just go somewhere, pray for 10, 15 minutes. Then in the evening again, you pray. But when he comes to praises, he said, how many times? Several times. Several times. That means always praying. Can you imagine if you divide 24 hours into seven that means every three three hours at least you will praise god every three hours father thank you we are grateful oh lord i am grateful oh lord for all you have done for me hallelujah i am grateful oh lord you are praising him you are praising him. No Satan come off for road. I go jam you. I no get the break. Oh, I go kill you. You are tell that one is not praising. So. That one you are praising the devil indirectly. You are saying devil is very powerful. You are beg you are praying to him to come off for road. Who told you devil will come off for road? Devil is out to steal. To kill and to destroy. That, these are his duty. You say he should come off a road. You will go where? Are you hearing me? You will never come off a road. Six songs that we praise him. You can't imagine if you are his. But some six songs to. When you see somebody that has offended you, you start singing song to. Huh? A byword. To, uh, to answer your grievances against the person. Hope you know what I'm talking about. So people sing those kind of ungodly songs. Maybe your, your, your brother offended you, or your husband offended you, or your wife offended you. Then you look for one song to, to hit his head. All my enemy. <laughs> you start singing one kind of song. 
Then he will say, I know, I know why you are singing this song. I know why you are singing this song. You too, you raise another song to cut it. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Well, we can. That is why no singing, no service. Are you hearing me? No singing, no service. Each time we want to sing, we want to hold the service, we start with singing. Almost every Christian meeting, think about it, is always we singing. And God told me again that we should. I which one? Are you the one that is? Sandwich. Huh? Sandwich your prayer with singing. What we know it's called sandwich. Huh? You start with prayer. I mean, you start with singing, you close with singing. In between, prayers. Is that clear? Is that clear? You sandwich your prayers with singing. Prayer here. Singing here. Singing here. That we finish now. That's why I want this. Before. When we finish, don't just run away. Say, well, climb there and sing. We close, we start with singing. And we close with what? Singing. Even as you are dropping your final offering, you'll be singing away and go away. So, prayer, I mean, praises is a major weapon in our spiritual warfare. Are you hearing me? The weapons of our warfare. One of them is praises. In case you don't know how to do it, start today. If you are not singing enough, buy a cassette where you are working your workshop. Put your cassette, be hearing cassette. Don't be hearing FM only. FM 90.5. And then they will be singing uh, failure material and all this immoral song. Sing, put music that can be taught, you know, blessing God as you are working. Are you hearing me? If I enter your motto, put on music, godly music. So everybody you enter here, boom, 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 boom. Ah. No God, nothing, just satanic music. If I catch you from today, I will say, didn't you hear the message? Are you blessed today? Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Praises as a weapon of our warfare. Weapon of our spiritual warfare. Makata Rabosha. Baptize me with the spirit of praises. Father, baptize me with the spirit of praises. The spirit of praises. The spirit of praises. Yeketo lato necrandosia. Thank you, Father. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Just tell God to baptize you with the spirit of praises. Nedina Rabosha Kulebransene. Can we praise God for a while? Those who are in charge of praises, let's sing a song of praise. Ha ha ha. Then we collect offering and then we prepare to cleave. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy and your rest forever. Amen. For his mercy and your rest forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. His mercies and your rest forever. Amen. For His mercies and your rest forever. Amen. Glory be, glory, glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Mercies and your forever. Amen. 
for his mercies and your love forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And your rest forever. Amen. Amen. For his mercies and your rest forever. Amen. 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 Based on this revelation that the Lord wants us to be praising Him as a church more than ever before. That's why I pleaded with you. I don't know how to how to enforce people to do to obey God. Reverend Lawrence, maybe one day you come and teach us how they to, how people do it in the East. That you talk to your people, they agree. Like I beg everybody now, make sure you partake of praise and worship in every service you attend. But by the time you come on Wednesday now, you four thirty on the dot, you see few people just coming. Then when it is all the praise and worship, everything is over. They just come in and sit down. I've explained and explained. But now God is saying, as a church, we should be praising him. Are you hearing me? As individuals, we should be praising him. I have to ask myself, how do, what do we use in praising God? Then we say we need equipment. We need instruments of praise. That's why the last uh, Thanksgiving service, I said, can we raise money to buy equipment to add to what we have? to praise God and people contributed to it and today we have some of the equipment here hallelujah we have some of the equipment here we thank God for those who gave we needed 2.5 million we didn't get it both from those that gave directly in the church those that gave through the internet some of my friends i pleaded with to also support then we got about one one million twenty nine thousand almost one million twenty nine thousand <laughs> hallelujah and so we bought the one that can buy and the one we even have here they are more than is more than the money we have somebody has to give us okay when the when you when you have the, the makeup you make it up for us so right here we have this we're going to pray on them we just brought it so that you know that we we spend the money well and we are trusting god for the remaining one there are more what do we have here some say you know all this better than me uh, tell them sit down sit down some of you are stand sit, stand you may not see let's pray on them and then let's begin to praise God. Praise with. the Lord. Can I have less? This is, Who is a trumpet. assisting him. Somebody should assist. Where Gideon? Gideon is our instrumentalist leader. He, he know how to he know how this thing. More. We have a trumpet. We have. Let us see one by uh, one. This is the trumpet. Do you want me to play it for you? <laughs> I will go and learn it. <laughs> so you have powerful trumpet here. have the lead guitar this is not the one you have been hearing the, the bass guitar this is the lead guitar hallelujah i tried to learn what is it about trump mount organ you know what's called mount organ 
when I was young, I tried and tried and tried. I couldn't get any tune. I said, no, I don't have this gift. This guitar too, I tried to. I said, how are they getting something out of it? I couldn't get anything out of it. God has people, they are gifted. Hallelujah. Oh. Holy Spirit. Uh oh. This, this golden is one. a saxophone. Fire. Auto sax. I wish I'm Paul and Nature. He, he will play this thing for us. Before he preach, he will carry the thing and, 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 and make some. <laughs> Amen. This is beautiful. These are brown, brown, new, new things given to us. want to appreciate uh, Shinaka who specifically helped to get this thing for us. At uh, virtually no, no gain. Don't say it's my church. Let us have them. God bless you, sir. God will bless your business, bless your work, bless your family in Jesus' name. Yes, it's good to have people like we this. We have another keyboard. This is bigger, far, far bigger than the one that is playing. Uh -huh. This is the piece of a work machine. This is a big keyboard. Well, Pastor uh, Steve Oyero, he can. When we started this church, he used to play piano. Some of you don't even know. He was playing piano for us. Choco, choco, choco. He and Samson. Amen. It's good. Now, for the lead guitar, for us to enjoy the sound properly, we needed a lead guitar combo and this is the machine for the lead guitar wow this is beautiful beautiful all kinds it has, has, has everything connected to it let's stand up on our feet and stretch forth our hands towards this equipment you know, you know when it says in psalm 67 in verse number six, he said, When you press me, he said, Then shall the earth yield her increase. He said, Let the people praise God. He said, When you praise God, he said, Oh, goodness. The earth you are living is established by the power of God. He's made. Go and read Revelation. He said, That's worthy to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things for what? Everything that produces the pleasure of God, God receives the honor. So even the earth, when you begin to praise God, something will begin to happen yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. We're going to pray. This instrument, no power of darkness will take it away from us. Amen. It shall be to the glory and honor of God. Yes, Lord. So that the Bible said that David was singing prayers. As David praised God, demons were running away from Saul. Yes. You don't understand. When David prays and sing praise to God, demons ran away. That every power that is holding any man down, as the praises will proceed from this very gadget, that heaven will descend to take away all problem from Amen. your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father, we thank you from the sources you gave us this beautiful equipment the instrument to bring honor and glory unto you we ask you ancient of days from the sources where they came from father you increase them multiply them amen. bless them amen. in the name of jesus christ amen as for this equipment we take away the hands of the producers amen. father we sanctify them we keep them holy we dedicate them unto you it shall be used to the glory and honor of your name Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As your children sing to the glory of your name, your power will come down. Healing will take place. Amen. Deliverance will take place. Amen. Father, miracles will take place Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory and honor be unto your holy name. In Jesus' name we declare. Amen. Amen. Join your heart together. Thank you so much, sir. Powerful. Sit down.